Well, I wasn't expecting that. Hello everybody. By everybody, I'm referring to the 12 viewers who will watch this. Hi guys. Welcome to a special Kabuki video, where I read the comments on my least favorite video on the channel, Regular Nikolo K Boomer TikTok. A controversial video which has cemented itself in history as a political turning point across all of humanity. Thank you, Trump supporting old men and children who love watching TikTok, for supporting this Canadian minor who posted a video four months ago just so I had a link to share with my friends. Your very little support has gotten me and my four very small children through tough times. However, there's one supporter that can't go ignored. The sponsor for today's video, Mahatma Gandhi. No, not that Gandhi. There we are. Thank you, Evil Red Mahatma Gandhi, for sending 12 platoons of little monkey babies to defeat the evil sorcerer who was planning to uproot the world tree. Now, let's get on to the video. Firstly, we have a comment coming in from Condor Riano, named after the One Piece character, I would assume, and displaying an icon of Mortis from Brawl Stars. He's also known from his famous video, 3B3T WA7DBS55. Here, he's eloquently stated, Okay, Zoomer. Thanks, Condoriano. Next up, we have a surprising comment from famous Robloxian and 12-time TF2 playing champion, Sharkboy9231, with a powerful yet simple comment. Good. No bombers. She retired. Coming from a man who has stated upon numerous interviews after winning World Cups that retirees deserve our utmost respect, this is truly heartbreaking to see. Our next comment comes in from Took Turtle, who proposed an interesting theory. At first, I assumed he could be an actual turtle, but upon closer inspection and thought, he is actually a gorilla who plays video games. As a gorilla rights activist, I'm glad that some gorillas are in our world now and now have access to computers where they are able to spread their thought-provoking comments. I don't have that much to say about this one, but it seems the father of Nico Lull herself, Jason Lull, is expressing his concerns over the creativity of our youth and his displeasure over his daughter's newfound popularity. I pray for you and your family, Jason Lull. I'm sure that hope lies at the end of the horizon for our next generation. Don't you worry about a thing. Next, we have a comment from Mikey, a representative for MG Tau, which is short for Mario Galaxy Took Our Wieners. His comment isn't actually of much actual value, but raises an important issue I'd like to talk about. Mario Galaxy Took Our Wieners, or MGTOW, is a group of poor souls who experienced the great tragedy known as Super Mario ED Land, in which the first pre release copies of the Wii game, Super Mario Galaxy, actually caused erectile dysfunction due to a faulty error which accidentally mapped the power button to men's lower regions, sadly causing them to never have children. Thank you, Mikey. Nintendo must pay for their crimes. That's... that's gross, man. What is... Is it anything like a Sooner? Well, uh, I admittedly don't know what a Sooner is, but you could very well be right. Thanks for commenting! Next, this is a comment I found pretty funny by Ernesto. She is beautiful. Her boyfriend or husband is a lucky man. Too bad she vanished into thin air. Hilarious. Albeit spoiled by the fact that the comment below is from famous eco-terrorist Ant Crusher, who should be in jail at the time of this video. Now, on a sadder note, it seems that this video was one of the last seen by a poor individual named Yu Simp, who states in their comment that they have tragically passed. Although we may not know each other, and we now lie worlds apart. It's incredible to believe that you enjoyed my video enough to even surpass death to comment me, informing me of your passing. I'm glad that you were able to enjoy watching my video, you simp. Thank you for watching, and may you rest in peace. 
Another comment by Ryan Ramos confused me quite a bit at first, saying, Beautiful girl, but disgusting shirt. What? Disgusting shirt? Where? Playing back the video, I was able to get a closer look. Why? It's just a shirt of a wee baby monkey. Perhaps Ryan simply didn't like the cut of his jib? Suddenly, I felt as if I had seen this monkey somewhere. Then it clicked. Foxconn. A corporation known for its horrible, borderline, if not already illegal treatment of workers who produce products for some of the biggest tech names in the game, and are renowned for their inability to show compassion for human beings. This is a famous photo of Terry Gu, the CEO of Foxconn at the time. But this is a highly edited photo the media has put out to control you and mask the identity of its high-profile partner in crime. That's right, wee baby monkey. Truly disgusting. Thank you, Mr. Ramos, for illuminating me on what otherwise would have gone over my head, and I will be sure to tell others. Finally. I've saved the best for last. Dylan Rouse roused the question, What the hell is this? And in response, I laid out a neat answer, which I hoped would answer his question, fully expecting somebody as angry enough to use the word hell to come back in full force. However, Dale responded politely and curtly, thanking me genuinely. I hope someday, everyone can be as nice as Dale was. Thank you, Dale. Now, as of the recording of this audio, I'm currently at 128,000 views on the video, which, if you noticed, the screenshot at the start of the video, taken and edited earlier today, was at a mere 47,000 views. I hate the algorithm. Please watch one of my video essays instead. Thank you for watching, subscribing, commenting, and sharing, everyone. Kabuki, out.